Hi, and welcome back. It's Clifton 3D, and today we're going to talk about uh, the issue that I'm having right now. The issue is my computer, I got, you know, I got upgrades, I got a new Intel Arc, which was cool so far, but when I was playing and recording multiple videos, it had issues, you know, it wasn't running smoothly, so I looked up online what you know, if there's any solutions to this, or if the graphic card is just not that great. Well, there were solutions, and I tried that out, and ever since, I've had a black screen with the cursor, and I've tried everything out that I found on the internet, and I just, I can't get it to work, so. For now, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be using my laptop set it up real fast as fast as i could i don't have anything going on this just sucks this sucks mega now what i really wanted to talk about in this video was the biggest drop box drop box office drop ever in the mcu despite making 110 million US dollars domestic box office debut, Ant Man and Wasp Quantum Mania has also suffered greatly. The third Ant Man film has dropped massively, notably the biggest drop in the MCU ever between the opening and second weekend. According to Hollywood Reporter, the third sequel dropped 69.7%, so 70%. In North America in the second weekend. While it did stay atop at the domestic box office, even beating the newly released Cocaine Bear, no, new, no. Cocaine Bear actually surpassed it. This film now holds the record for the biggest box office drop in MCU history and the biggest of superhero movies that opened over 100 million US dollars. The drop saw Ant-Man 3 surpass Black Widow and Thor Love and Thunder, and not a surprise, which fell 67.8% uh, and 67.7%, respectively. Within the superhero genre, DC Comics, Batman and Superman, Dawn of Justice also fell 69.1%. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is now in theaters worldwide. Uh, usually comes out like a day early in Germany, uh, Europe, and so overseas, if you're in, in the States, usually, these movies usually do a little bit better than, than what you would think, just because they're just not as in touch with the, the whole woke movement, they're like, the Americans are crazy, which is true, but they're going to go see this movie and they won't, you know, they won't see it. They won't, you know, or, or not to the extent that most of us do who watch these things. Now, uh, that being said, Cocaine Bear did do better. This, what's the last I heard that was like uh, Saturday. And today's Monday, so I don't know the exact numbers right now, but anyway, Ant-Man, dog crap. It's horrible. People aren't going to see this movie, and it's forgettable. From what I've heard, it's just, you know, like everything that happened in this can just be forgotten. On to the next movie. You know, whatever. Which I'm... Pro I believe the next movie might actually be Guardians of the Galaxy, which I do want to see. I will be seeing. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right. Hey, if you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing. And, hey, support the channel. Something's not right. Ah. <laughs> I seem to have forgotten to plug in the laptop. Right. Oh boy. Anyway, hey, if you like this video, hit the like button and consider supporting the channel. 
down in the links I have down in the description I have a few links where you can help support the channel I'm kind of needing the help because I put all my money into the new upgrades and right now you know I get the feeling that I'm going to have to go ahead and just upgrade the whole computer which sucks but I just don't I also don't have the money right now I can't do that now don't worry I have enough money that I can live month to month but I don't have any great savings that I can say okay let's go and buy new computer hardware that's not happening so hey if if you want to help me out please do and I will be forever grateful just letting you know all right hey until next time see you take care